In this video, we're going to show you how to generate a 1099. First, you want to make sure that you have your tax ID number in the system. Click on Account Settings, Profile Information, Contact Information, Change, Tax ID Number, then Save. Next, you want to make sure that you have all of the owner and vendor information entered in, such as their name, address, and tax ID number. To edit or update the owner's information, go to the Owner's tab, Owner Center. We have an owner named Bob. Go to Take Actions, Edit Owner Details. We can see his name, address, and tax ID number. You want to make sure there is no punctuation in his name. If there's any periods or apostrophes, simply delete it. And if the owner lives outside of the country, make sure you check mark for an address, then save. To edit or update the vendor's information, go to the Vendors tab, Vendor Center. We have the vendor ABC Gardening, go to Take Actions, Edit Vendor Details. And you want to do the same thing here. You want to make sure you have the vendor's name, address, and tax ID number, and make sure there's no punctuation in the vendor's name. If there is, simply delete it. If the vendor lives outside of the country, you can check mark for an address. And then when you're ready, click Save. Once all of that has been completed, you can now print, email, or e-file the 1099s. Simply go to the Reports tab, scroll down to Tax Reports, and click on 1099 Report. Select the year, then Generate. Check mark the owners and vendors that you want to generate a 1099 for. You can also select all or none to save time. Then click on continue. This is a preview of what we'll see on the 1099 for the owner Bob and for the vendor ABC Gardening. We can also see the filing status. I'll click on continue at the bottom right corner. And you can select from three kinds of forms. The first option is if you have official IRS forms in the printer. For proper placement, you want to make sure that you select none or actual size. The second option is I have blank paper in the printer. And the last option is to e-file online. You can also email the PDFs to the owners and vendors after e-filing. Let's say I have blank paper and the printer, so I'll select that option, then I'll click on Generate. The system will generate the PDFs. There will be five copies for each owner or vendor, and each copy will tell you who should receive that specific copy. For example, we have the owner Bob, and we can see that copy A is for the IRS. If I scroll down, this copy is for the state tax department. If I scroll down again, we can see that this copy is for the recipient. If I scroll down some more to the vendors, 1099, ABC Gardening, Again, we can see that this copy goes to the IRS. The second copy is for the state tax department. This copy is for the recipient, etc. The 1099s can also be emailed to the owners and vendors just by going back here to the account and clicking on email PDF to owners, vendors.